you right, you dude. Yeah, go on, talk to me. <laughs> Hi, my name's Simon, and welcome to another episode of The Maserati Guy. Today we've got something a little bit different, hopefully which is um, entertaining, interesting, and informative. Um, we're watching um, a, a mate of mine, Ozzy Gordon, who um, specializes in alloy wheel repairs, um, doing some work on the Audi RS5. Um, I got a slight gutter rash from a clip on a gutter, a stupid lack of concentration. Um, and uh, he's coming to do that, and he's also um, going to take a little take a look at a little mark on the Maserati as well. Um, but I thought it was really interesting to watch um, how this process is done. Um, a lot of people don't even know that you can repair um, alloy wheels from this kind of damage. So I thought it'd be interesting just to watch um, how how this process um, is is completed. Um, and Ozzy is an incredibly entertaining chap and I hope you enjoy the video. I run a YouTube channel. <laughs> you run a YouTube <laughs> Yeah, go on, talk to me. <laughs> and you want can, to put can I can I put you on you can, can I put you on YouTube? You can do that, mate. I can go back to nineteen I'll tell you how far my door is back. I can go back into nineteen sixty five I started <gasps> writing a diary. And I really? every diary. Because I'm an old farmer, right? Right. When I left school, I went home to the family farm and I used to write a diary every night yep. of what we did on the farm. Yeah. And I've got a record of all the things that happened. There's funny things in there. Mm. I go back since not more than 65 and there's so much funny things in there. You mm. would, you I can die. imagine. I could probably write a book on my, uh, on my life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two and a half thousand for one rim. Mm. Mm. And I rang up, she said, oh, it's too dear. I said, yeah, well, let's see if we can find a second hand one. So I went back to Barking Street and I went downstairs to the mechanic downstairs. He said, look, have you got any second hand rims? He said, the whole, whole pile of them up there in the rack. Mm -hmm. Up again, I find a rim, same as hers, different colour, wasn't worried about that, slightly damaged, but perfect, $600. Yeah. So I brought it home, put it on the car, prepared it, Roost sprayed it and matched all the other four yeah. wheels. Had a mate into the used car industry. Oh, okay. Saw it in America. Right. And he said to me, uh, Ozzy, I think you can do this for you. You did everything on the farm, there was nothing went to a garage, you repaired everything on the farm because we live, our nearest town, or our biggest town was Dubbo, which was four and a half to five hours away. And uh, on the farm we had a workshop that had everything in it. We could rebuild motors, we could do fabrication work, yeah. all that sort of stuff on yeah. the farm, which we never took anything away. Yeah. If there was a motor blowing up, we pulled the motor off the top of the header and we brought mm -hmm. it into the workshop and we fixed it. Uh, it's the same with the tractors, four wheel drive tractors, anything went wrong with it, we brought it into the farm, mm. workshop, and fixed it. Um, air conditioning, we're at our own air conditioning stations because you couldn't get a guy to come out and fix your air conditioner because he wasn't going to travel two or three hundred miles. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything that broke badly, we used to ring the states, directly fly it out to um, say um, one of the dealerships, like well, say for example we bought a John Deere head and we, we would fly it directly out to the States to the nearest point and we, we used to fly it into, out to, 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 to Toowoomba and then we used to fly over because I had my own aeroplane, I had a license, so we used to fly over and pick it up, bring it back, within 48 hours we had this thing directly out of the States. <laughs>
Ладно. Все. Я водичку. Все. Ага. To do it properly, there's a lot of techniques that you've got to use to be able to get that highly polished finish. And because if you look at that there, it's actually not bright silver. It's actually it's not bright like that there. It's a dull silver. Yep. So um, what the clear coat that I use on here is the same clear coat there to make it go dull. Mm -hmm. There's two different clear coats. There's the highly polished clear coat that you put on, which gives it a bright shine or what you call a matte silicone, which makes it go that grey colour. Mm, mm -hmm. What we're going to do now is get it nice and smooth, so that when the paint goes on, we have no um, um, marks. <laughs> Okay. One of the Maguire products that they use for all polishing stuff and whatever. Yeah. It's very fine abrasive, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. This is the same sandpaper that the ladies use on their legs after they shave them with the razor. That's so that right. So the legs get nice and smooth. Well, this sandpaper is exactly the same grit what they use on their legs. Is that right? So we started the valve. very close that's a very close color I may have to put a little bit of uh, fine silver in there to lighten it but I'm quite happy with that color to see if I can mix it to make it match So this one's an easier one to mix, is it? No, it's just a straight bright silver. Ah. It's just as hard to put on, it's not harder, because I've got to um, stop the paint from going onto the painted area. So yep. Because...
I can't let the silver paint go in the paint area. Yep. Which makes it terribly hard to do. This is just drying it, yeah? That's basically drying it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep off the gutters. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Normally, you'd have that wheeler take two days to repair because you've got to let one lot of paint dry before you can put the next lot of paint on because you want to be able to put masking tape to get those really fine lines. Yep. It was very hands-on. It is. It very, is. It's very hands-on. Like, I've seen that many people do so many shortcuts in doing those wheels and within six months the paint comes off, it's not done properly, um, there's yeah. just so many things that people don't do properly. In, in any, any, anything in the world today, there's a lot of people yeah. who take shortcuts. Yeah, absolutely. Terrific, thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very entertaining look at the, uh, the highly skilled work of Ozzy Gordon there. Um, it really is a, a craft that um, you can't imagine lasting um, into the future, but it's a, a skill that, that he has um, really perfected and uh, it's fascinating to watch. So as always, if you did enjoy that video, don't forget to give the like a click, don't forget to click subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.